Yeah, so hello everyone, my name is Vinash Hao and I'm currently in my last semester of my undergraduate double degree majoring in management and marketing under the Bachelor of Commerce. So I made this presentation video as a purpose for my final project of this module called Enhancing Your Business Mind, otherwise known as EYBM, in which I have to construct a career passport reflection video assessment, then reflecting my time studying here in Curtin, Singapore, my time with this EYBM module, as well as my plans for my future endeavors. So during seminar one, which is the first day of class, we students were prompted to do the employability test to identify our general strengths and weaknesses. Coincidentally, we were again required to do the same test once we reached our final class, which was on seminar 12. So with that said, I feel that I did improve on all seven literacies after taking this EYBM module, as my knowledge on the module were reflected on my answers for the employability test, which is why there seems to be a significant improvement in the results. As you can see on the two spider diagrams, which is here and here, it is evident that I improved most on digital and ethical literacy, which relates on an individual's ability to find, evaluate, and communicate information by utilizing digital media platforms, as well as upholding ethics and being socially responsible when making a decision in the workplace. So by enrolling in this module, I feel that I was able to improve both my li digital and ethical literacy as we students, we are being placed in an environment where we have to be able to easily adapt to any circumstances being thrown our way. And that adapting to utilizing different digital media platforms, as well as being able to determine whether something is ethically right or wrong, is something that was taught in class. So despite this, I personally feel that there are some aspects that I may need to improve for my own benefit in the long run. So for instance, um, the learning literacy literally so although there seems to be significant improvements from the first spider diagram into the second one i still can't help but feel unsatisfied as i feel that i can do much better than this additionally it is also because learning literacy is very important as it weighs and measures an individual's self-belief and learning mindset to excel especially in the working environment due to this i'll be looking to improve my self-beliefs and principles in order to prepare myself for the working world yeah, so upon completing this EYB module, I have without a doubt acquired a multitude of new skills where I believe that these skills will come in handy for my future working endeavors. In addition, if I were to speak personally, I have to say that I really enjoyed the way that the classes are being delivered by lecturers so far. So in this course, every week we are presented with fresh activities that facilitates our acquisition of new knowledge. We learned a wide range of skills such as pitching techniques, teamwork and leadership, negotiation strategies, agile thinking, self-marketing, online problem solving, as well as addressing unconscious biases and understanding the ethical and business sustainability. So these interactive and enjoyable activities greatly aided our comprehension of the lesson. Furthermore, there are some numbers of activities that I am personally invested in, which made me feel that these are the highlights of the whole module itself from the tower making activity using marshmallows and spaghettis to the activity where we had to develop a whole city just by using lego blocks to the activities where we had to learn to negotiate with another party to achieve our objectives as an organization so i would say that these activities are the heart of the EYBM module itself and without it it wouldn't it wouldn't be the current module that we all know and love so obviously during this course i have also expanded my understanding of networking by engaging in activities when meeting new peers and collaborating with different kinds of colleagues every single week itself during the course of the uibm module initially we were also strangers who knew nobody at all but then at the end of the class we have formed an inseparable bond making us feel like close family as we work together harmoniously as a team so by the end of the last seminar, I was also able to properly grasp on how to create a well-constructed reflection paper that reflects my evaluation on every activity, as well as evaluating my teammates and our level of teamwork. I do also remember the time where we were required to construct a getting pitch elevator twice, and I feel that it will really help me in the future working environment, as I get to work through the pros and cons of developing an interesting pitch. 
So overall, I am proud to say that this class has taught me a lot and have provided me with great insights of what awaits us ahead in the professional and working world. Going into university has been a completely novel experience for me, especially since I commenced my studies online amidst the pandemic. It was quite the challenge for me to navigate this unfamiliar territory, especially without knowing someone prior. Not to mention, um, the presence of a different education system, you could say, in comparison to the one I was exposed to during my IB program days back in high school, as Curtin implemented theirs based on the Australian education system. Um, in terms of the friendships I have built here, I suppose itself, that itself is the biggest hurdle that I had to overcome so far during my time here in the university. So starting amidst the pandemic where it was really hard to get to know someone by using the different social media platforms available, I also struggled, like everyone basically, on finding new friends and peer groups. In addition, the thought of relocating to a foreign country during the pandemic without the support of family made it even more complicated for me. So it was an entirely new experience and I had to navigate it independently as I encountered numerous and familiar situations along the way. However, as time passed by, I was able to make new friends, meet new peers and colleagues from different places all around the world, and was able to start new connections both in terms of friendships and romantic relationships. Moreover, I was able to do a lot of things that were kind of outside my comfort zone, you would say, and I pushed myself to engage in unfamiliar activities which have fostered my personal growth, which is why I am holding my head up when I say that without my current friends and families that I've made during my time here okay. in Singapore, I wouldn't be able to reach where I am and be who I am today. So overall, I can say that I'm really satisfied with my time spent here in Curtin, Singapore. You know, just learning that there are a lot of things that are outside of my horizons, a lot of foreign technicalities that I was able to identify due to diligence and help my lecturers, which enabled me to prepare for my professional life ahead. In terms of my career plan, I personally constructed an Odyssey plan that discusses three alternative plans that I would consider or do for my future endeavor once I graduate from my bachelor's degree. So my first plan, which is my current main goal, is to be a successful management consultant at an established or well-known firm. I would look to apply for internship and entry-level jobs available, and I would learn new skills while I'm at it. I will then focus on my individual performance and improve my weaknesses to boost my productivity levels and work my way towards a promotion. However, during the process for approximately 2-3 to three years, I will keep my eyes open for any available opportunities that comes my way in order for me to be a top and successful management consultant at a well-known firm, obviously. So yeah, my second plan will be for me to continue pursuing higher education which is my master's degree in this scenario. Once I've graduated, I would spend time researching on the potential schools I would like to enroll in, as well as the field of study that I would be pursuing. Then I would have to intensely prepare for my exams and interviews before I get accepted into my school of choice. Once I'm accepted, I will, I will diligently do my studies and aim to get a high distinction final grade, all while working part-time jobs, finding new connections, and expand my network having fun with my friends as well as finding work opportunities before graduating and settling into the professional world. So for my third and final plan, which has to be an alternative where money is not the objective, I would like to improve my mental well-being and qualities as an individual by pursuing my childhood interests and, and learn to do new things basically, as well as maintaining a fit physical body condition and diet. So to the future me, if you're watching this, I want you to know that I am immensely proud of you for your unwavering determination and the strength with which you have fought to reach this point yourself. So remember that success is not solely measured by external achievements but also by the depth of happiness and contentment that you will find within. In conclusion, I can say that I am quite satisfied with where I am right now as a person and I believe that these experiences that I've gained throughout the two memorable and unforgettable years in Curtin, Singapore, as well as the knowledge that I've gained from this EYB module, will definitely help me in preparing for the harsh reality waiting for me once I step into the working environment.